Hey guys, I'm uh, in my cave down here, and instead of making a spoon or something, uh, rained all day yesterday, rained today, there's, you know, Saturday I like to take it easy physically, but uh, what I'm doing down here, I'm going to put some buttons, because it's not really buttons, but I'll show you what I'm doing here to, on my uh, canvas, a sheet, a tarp getting stuff ready for that so let me show you so anyways um, got my 36 bank line here 18 bank line here I have a wad pretty strong it's pretty good it stays together instead of a ball or uh, marble or something I got this dual purpose and it goes in there makes a little button I tie off the 18 on there and then I just twist and loop the uh, 36 on there and you got a little tie out if it was a regular loop in there you just do a cow hitch but uh, so I'm making a bunch of these up and you can use these for you know prussics on your um, ridge line too so I have to measure these out and this pot here what I'm doing here let me just show you here I'll set this up in a minute but uh, yeah so I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to wrap this line around there. It just makes it easier. It's like a little template, and then it slides right off the bottom. I can make a lot of these loops. So I'm going to get all this ready, put it in a little bag or a little canvas bag or kit so I have it with me. And then when I'm ready to make the buttons, I'll, uh, I'll do that. So I figured it was a good time to do that. And uh, instead of making a spoon or a spatula or whatever, this is something I have to do, and then I have to waterproof the sheet, waterproof the canvas, and uh, take it from there. So, just kind of show you just how I'm making a loop. But uh, yeah, these little wads, I, I said, well, geez, you know, they're pretty good. They're better than, I have lit balls, but I'm not going to use that. They'd work pretty good as a button. They wouldn't damage anything, and they'll, they'll hold pretty good. And, uh, you know, like I just tested it on there, it'd be pretty good. So. But, uh, and there's different ways. If you just want to tie a piece of rope on there, you could. But, uh, but I'm using this as a, like a little jig, shall we say. And I'll show you. <clears throat> this is pre-cut. 36 bank line. Let's wrap it around underneath the lip. <clears throat> this makes it quicker and easier. And I put three ties in it. Doesn't have to be perfect. You got plenty of loops for whatever you need it for. And it just slips off here. There you go. A lot easier than trying to mess with the line, so that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> <clears throat> you know, I did a little lot a couple days ago with my son. Did a lot of work there, so I've been doing a lot of physical work, so I'll take it easy. But I always take it easy on Saturdays anyways. I don't do anything physical anyways, unless someone needs help. <clears throat> there you go. See how fast that is instead of, you know, if you... If you tried to do it, you know, while it was like this, you'd be tangling and it twirls up and it's a pain, pain in the arse. This way you just wrap it around. Use this as a jig. And the, the 18, you just actually tie when you put the wad on the tarp or your sheet or whatever you're going to use. <clears throat> there you go. 
go. See how fast that is? Save a lot of time. Makes it just a lot easier. But uh, don't mind the, the mess here. It's really not too bad, but uh, yeah. Stove I don't use, I had a, I've actually two of them there. And an old kerosene heater over there, old type. But I, I don't use them. I have a real good modern clean burning stove upstairs. Just got these, some was getting rid of them, so I got them. I don't know how many I did here. Drop it off. Good. Really cuts the time down a lot easier. See how stringy, if you didn't have that, you're trying to tie it, it would drive you nuts. This way, I actually get a little better, better tie on it. So now you got little loops for your ridge line or, you know, for prussics or your little buttons that you put on the canvas. <clears throat> Perfect. Yeah, drop it down, be good. That's what's going on. I mean, that's pretty quick. And it works well, works better this way using this. You could use anything, but just a piece of wood if you had to. Just makes it a lot easier to tie and you get a better knot, stronger knot. What I do is I cut maybe a foot and a half or less of line here. So this will be the last one here, and I have a bunch of them, and I'm going to put them in a uh, little bag, like a canvas bag, along with wads, and, and then I will cut some number 18 bank line to tie the buttons or, or wads or whatever you're going to use. You could use stones, you can use sticks, you can use anything if you're in the woods. I just happened to look at these and I said, you know, that'll work pretty good. So, there you go. So anyways, here's the little look at the wads again. I, these really, I don't know what's, what's in them actually, but um, they don't really burn, you know, it's not a really good fire starter. Um, got something in there, you know. But uh, Dave Canterbury does a uh, <clears throat> some videos on how to use these and other stuff to, to make uh, cartridge, black powder cartridges out of old shotgun shells and different things. So pretty versatile. But they uh, look at these, I said, geez, they're pretty hard. I could, I could make little buttons. You know, you see the button over there. So, yeah. As soon as I got the, the 18 back, I'm gonna cut some of this put it in the bag along with all these ties that I just made and a bunch of these. In fact, these might be good to put in all my packs if I ever have to tie something off. I always have cordage, but uh, come in handy. Instead of a stone or rock, at least you got them and they're, they're light and uh, won't damage anything. You know, there you go. Now the lead balls, of course, if you've got black powder, you're out there hunting, you can use that to shoot, but uh, this is fine, you know, so I'll do that. Anyways, that's what's going on. That's what I'm doing. Always working on wood, always working on spoons. Um, I have a lot of things I, I work on and things I do. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And um, the firewood prep is non-stop basically so um yeah that's what's going on i got my music stuff here you know my you know where you can see there with uh, my amps and stuff but uh 
yeah, I'll probably light the stove tonight. It's going to get cold and windy, so. But uh, that's what we'll do. So, so it's Quinn the SMO Fair Rod. Just kind of letting you know what I'm doing here. So, sounds good. I made, oh, I made some nice Rhode Island clam chowder um, yesterday out of the clams that I harvested and stuff. So, that was very, very tasty. It's very nice. Uh, I use I, I make Rhode Island style quite a bit because it's a little less fattening than the cream and stuff and the New England style. Although I love I love New England style, and uh, this is New England. But we're down here in Southern Connecticut, you know. So and I got Rhode Island right next door. So, anyways, you know, made that up. Celery, potatoes, parsley, dash of thyme, little bacon butter, Irish butter. Um, hope I'm not forgetting anything. Um, yeah. Oh, onions, a little bit of garlic. Came out great. Really good. So, couldn't you ask them all fair rod? Peace. Freedom. Keep your eyes to the sky. Take care, man.